In this video we're going to take a look at the full screen button, the rotate image button, and the date and timestamp button. See here I have a live image under my camera. I've added a few annotations and I'm going to now move to full screen mode. When I click on full screen mode you're going to see that all the application window disappears and just the main image is shown. The primary toolbar at the bottom is now shown this transparent layer. See it's a semi-transparent button bar. If I want to hide those I can click on the hide button and that even further cleans up my screen so that there are no distractions. The annotations that you make on the full screen mode are not lost when you go back and forth between windowed mode and full screen mode and in fact they scale so when I go back to the windowed mode by closing the full screen mode I can either click on the full screen button again or I can press escape on my keyboard and now that takes me back to windowed mode you see even though the image has gotten a little smaller because it has to fit inside the window all the annotations have scaled so they're not out of alignment with the image the next button is the rotate button and here you'll see again that the annotations rotate along with the image So just click the button, each time you click it, it will rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. And the third button here is this date and timestamp button. When I click it once, you can see it puts the date and time here in the upper corner. If I click it again, it will change it to black, and then if I click again it will turn it off. That's useful for a few reasons. One, sometimes it's just placed on the screen so that students and the teacher are aware of what time it is so that they can keep time management. Um, in play while they're teaching. It's also useful when you're taking snapshots or recording so you can remember when it was you took the snapshot or the recorded video. So for example if you're taking snapshots of student work you might want to turn the date timestamp on so you can catalog uh, the images by date or time or reference that later.